Good day everyone. So today we will discuss the four career stages of a teacher and if there's still time, we will discuss the three types of power of a teacher. But first, what is the four career stages of teachers? It is the descriptors represent a continuum of development within the profession by providing a basis for attracting, preparing, developing, and supporting teachers. So first, career stage or beginning teachers. So, pag sinabing career stages or beginning teachers, ito yung mga teachers na have gained the qualifications recognized for entry into the teaching profession. And they have a strong understanding of the subjects, areas, in which they are trained in terms of content knowledge and pedagogy. They possess the requisite knowledge, skills, and values that support the teaching and learning progress process and they manage learning programs and have strategies that promote learning based on learning needs of their students and they seek advice from experienced colleagues to consolidate their teaching practice so sino yung mga beginning teachers for entry lang and gain qualification next merong strong understanding of subject area Next, requisite knowledge, skills, and values. Okay, pag sinabi requisite, beginning teachers. Okay, next, programs and have strategies. Pag sinabi strategies, that promote learning based on learning needs of their students, beginning teachers. Next, pag, nag, pag nagsisik pa lang sila ng advice from experienced colleagues, beginning teachers. Teachers again, career stage one or beginning teachers. Next, career stage two or proficient teachers. Sino sino ito? Ito yung mga professionals independent. Okay, professionally independent. So sila na yung mga independent na so two to five years na na ito sila. And they provide focused teaching programs that meet curriculum and assessment requirements. And they display skills in planning, implementing, and managing learning programs. Fourth, they actively engage in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders for mutual growth and advancement. And lastly, they are reflective practitioners who continually consolidate the knowledge, skills, and practices of career stage 1 teachers. So, ano yung mga clue natin sa career stage 2 or the proficient teachers? First, professionally independent. Second, provide focused teaching programs. Third, planning, implementing, and managing learning programs. Fourth, collaborative learning with the professional community. And five, effective practitioners. Okay, career stage 3. But before that, ano yung career stage 1? Beginning teachers. Ang career stage 2? Proficient teachers. Ang career stage 3? Highly proficient teachers. Ito na yung 5 years onwards. Sila yung mga consistently display a high level of performance. Pag sinabing high level of performance, highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabi naman, they manifest an in-depth and sophisticated at sophisticated understanding of the teaching and learning process, highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabi namang they have high education focus, situation cognition, are more adept in problem solving and optimize opportunities gained from experience, highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabi teachers work collaboratively with colleagues and provide them support and mentoring to enhance their learning and practice, highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabing, they continually seek to develop their professional knowledge and practice by reflecting on their own needs and those of their colleagues and students, highly proficient teachers. So, kung sa stage 1, seek advice, sa stage 3, seek to develop their personal, their professional knowledge. Okay? Ang Highly proficient teacher, sila na rin yung mga nagme-mentor sa beginning teacher. So, hindi pwede mag, uh, mag-mentor ang proficient teachers sa beginning teachers. Ano, pag, ano, nga, ano yung mga clue natin sa highly proficient teachers? First, high level of performance. Second, in-depth and sophisticated. Third, high education focus. Fourth, 
teachers work collaboratively and mentoring. And last one, develop their professional knowledge. Seek to develop their professional knowledge. Okay. Ano nga ulit ang career stage 1? Beginning teachers. Stage 2, proficient teachers. Stage 3, highly proficient teachers. Stage 4, distinguished teachers. Ano yung distinguished teachers? Ito naman yung embody the highest standards for teaching grounded in global best practices and exhibit exceptional capacity to improve their own teaching practice and that of others. And they also recognize as leaders. Sila na yung mga leaders in education and contributors to the profession and initiators of collaborations and partnerships. And they create lifelong impact in the lives of colleagues, students, and others. And they consistently seek professional advancement. So kung sa highly seek to develop their professional knowledge, ang Distinguish, seek professional advancement and relevance in pursuit of teaching quality and excellence. And last one, they exhibit commitment to inspire the education community and stakeholders for the improvement of education provision in the Philippines. Okay, ano yung mga clue natin pag sinabing distinguished teachers? Okay, pag nabasa natin highest standards for teaching grounded in global best practices, distinguished teachers. Pag nabasa natin exhibit exceptional capacity, distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing leaders in education, distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing lifelong impact in the lives of colleagues, um, distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing consistent, seek professional advancement, distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing commitment to inspire the education, distinguished teachers. And that's the four career stages of the teachers. Now, let's drill. Are you ready? Okay, ano ang ibig sa anong, anong teacher? Pag sinabing, seek advice from experienced colleagues. Beginning teachers. Pag sinabing, seek to develop their professional knowledge. Highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabing, seek professional advancement. Distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing, commitment to inspire the education. Distinguished teachers. Sila yung mga life, create lifelong impact in the lives of colleagues. Distinguished teachers. Sila yung mga leaders sa education. Distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing high level of performance, highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabing highest standards for teaching grounded, distinguished teachers. Pag sinabing gain the qualification for entry, beginning teachers. Pag sinabing professional independent, proficient teachers. Pag sinabing requisite knowledge, skills, and values, beginning teachers. Pag sinabing high education focused, Highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabing strong understanding of the subject areas, beginning teachers. Pag sinabing planning, implementing, and managing learning programs, proficient teachers. Pag sinabing sila yung mga nag-mentor and work collaboratively with colleagues, highly proficient teachers. Pag sinabing um, actively engaged in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders, proficient teachers. Pag sinabing programs and have strategies that promote learning based on the learning needs of their students, beginning teachers. Okay, congratulations! How many did you get, Char? So, meron pa tayong time. Let's proceed sa X ang uh, expert power noon. Okay, again, let's discuss the three types of power of a teacher. So, meron three types ng ano ba yung mga power ng, ng mga teacher. First, expert power. Ito yung mga um, when a teacher makes his students feel that he knows what he is talking about. So, meron siyang mastery of the subject. Next, referent power. Ano to? Giving students a sense of belonging and acceptance. So, merong support. 
Next, legitimate power or persons in authority. So, meron tayong ditong loco parentis or instead of. It means instead of a parent. Pag sinabing legitimate power, para tayo mga second parent na ng mga students. Okay, again, expert power knows what he is talking about. Referent power, sense of belonging and acceptance. Legitimate power, authority or second parents or loco parentis. Okay, again, drill tayo. Pag sinabing knows what he is talking about, expert power. Pag sinabing Authority, legitimate power. Pag sinabing belonging, sense of belonging, referent power. Pag sinabing when a teacher makes his students feel that he knows what he's talking about, expert power. Pag sinabing master of subject, expert power. Pag sinabing second parent, legitimate power. Pag sinabing loco parentis, legitimate power. Pag sinabing giving students a sense of belonging and acceptance, le ref referent Power. Okay, and that's it for my video today. Hope you like it. Please do subscribe and share my videos. Um, God bless to you all and goodbye.